And that's I, since the very beginning of Kwanlara School, I think uh, most kids would tell you, we spent more time in meetings, you know, getting these things sorted out. Um, and I think what my mother would say is that's where the learning that's where the learning comes from because right. it really doesn't take a long time to learn two plus two equals four you know right or right. or you know the pythagorean theorem if it's relevant and if, if right. your mind is open to learning that and you don't have conflict and you don't have stress then okay let's just do it and we right. see that a lot in in the in the at home which we now call off-campus students we okay. can see kids that that really haven't done anything structured, um, but all of a sudden, and they're, and they're 13, they're 14 years old, and they have this real unschooling thing. There's nothing on their transcript. They're not, you know, they're not uneducated, but they're undocumented, okay? Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and And then they want something. All of a sudden, they, you know, they got really into their violin playing, and now a conservatory mm. wants them to attend, but they can't attend without a high school diploma. They'll finish every single credit in in two right. years, eight sometimes eighteen months. They'll do an entire yeah. high school curriculum because all of a sudden they're ultra motivated. Um, mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.